Okay guys, so today we need to change the fuel sending sensor in this truck. The truck's only got 40,000 miles on it. If you have a Dodge, you're probably gonna have this problem. <clears throat> um, it's really annoying because I'm sure that they should have changed this at the dealership. Nonetheless, I'm gonna show you how to do it. And I think what I've seen most people do is they drop the tank. I think there's an easier way. Um, it may not seem easier, but I just confirmed, I started on it, and I'm gonna show you guys how to change the fuel pump or change the fuel sending sensor out of these Dodges that I think is gonna save you a lot of time other than trying to drop the tank, which is a pain in the butt. And to do that, we're gonna pull the bed off. Uh, there's not a lot of wires that connect to it. That's what I was really wondering about, and I don't even think I need to pull it off. I just need to get it high enough so that I can pull that fuel pump out. So. I'm gonna walk through the things that you have to pull off to be able to do that, and we're gonna see if we can do it together. Okay, so let's walk around real quick. So first off, you're gonna to need to take out the, um, the uh, mud inner fender, which is a plastic piece. On mine, I have these outer uh, fender flares. Anyways, there's just some bolts around the edge, and then there's two bolts here and here. You take that off and pull it down and it'll it'll pull itself out of this and then you could once it's down you can wrap it over the tire and get it out um, in addition to that you want to undo the bolts on the fuel just on the inside of the fuel door there's three of them little screws one two three take those out that comes out and that disconnects the whole filler neck from the body okay so then once you've done that then all you need to do, there's six bolts that hold the bed in place. Um, you can see the tower right there where my wood is. There's a bolt there. There's a bolt that sits. There's two bolts in the back. Let's see if I can show you those. Um, so this is the back of the truck, the wheel. So there, I have a hitch here up in the hitch. There's a hole there. And then this hole just in front of that there was a bolt in there and I've taken those out. Now those are locked tighted in. You're gonna wanna have a breaker bar to break them loose, but once they're loose, they come right out. So six bolts all in all. And then in addition to that, in the back here, I'm actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just tilt the front of this bed up. To do that, I would need to move this bed back and I don't want the bed hitting the bumper, so I'm gonna take the bumper off. To get the bumper off, there is, as far as I understand, I think there's six bolts one two here you got to pull your license plate off there's two behind that and then the two on the other side and then you just have light so this is my trailer light that comes off really easy with a clip these lights here they are for your license plate you just spin those and they come off just that easy um the lights that i'm not sure of that i'm guessing you pull the license plate off and you can disconnect but it's these ones here. I'm, because I'm just gonna tilt the bed up, I don't think I'm gonna have to take those off. So I'm gonna leave those for now and take the uh, the bumper out. So that's where we're at. Let's go ahead and do that. At this point, I grabbed some towels just because as I remove that bumper, I know it's going to hit and I don't want to scratch the paper. So I'll just throw some rags or something over it. Okay, well, let's take a look and show you what we've done to get the bed up. So, as you can see, I brought out the lifting jack. My wife, she's awesome. And 
we have, if you look in there, there's this cross member on the frame and where the front of the bed bolts, you run a boards across and you just stack it up to hold the bed up. And so we have it hinged on the back where I showed you earlier. And now we have access to the fuel pump. And so not a lot, but enough where we can get in there, take those clips off. We should be able to spin that and get the pump off. So let's do that. Okay, so on that gas line, there's a button on the back side. Push it into the pump and then push on the back and it should, you should hear it pop and then that will slide off. I found this really hard again because the gas, the bed was on, bed's off. This is way easier. So I started working on taking that ring off and I realized before I go any further, you need to vacuum all that crap out. Make sure you don't have any rocks or dirt that's gonna fall in your tank. So we're gonna do that. But let me show you what is wrong with uh, the tank. Let me see if you can see this. So, do you see this scored line? That line has caused this to no longer sense fuel, which is really unfortunate. So we're gonna go replace that. So you don't have to listen to me ramble through this whole thing. I'm just gonna let you know Everything disconnects on this. There's three clips. There's a clip I'm taking off now. There's a clip that runs down to the actual pump. And there's a clip on the top. They come off relatively easy. After that, then it's just the, lit, the hinge unit that's coming off. And if you're replacing that, you can break the plastic piece off. It'll pull right up. Next unit, push down until it clips. Reconnect everything, and you're good to go. Okay, guys, once you have um, the pump back in, just reverse order everything you've done. The only thing, few things that I thought might help you is the ring that goes around the pump. Getting that spun back on is a little pain in the butt. Um, I used a little silicone <clears throat> and to allow it to slip so it could slip back on a little easier. Um, some type of lubricant to help spin it would help. Um, I imagine that Dodge has a tool for that. I have no idea. I just did what I had to do to get it on. Um, the other thing that would be helpful is <clears throat> to get that whole bed off would be way easier than what I did. I had to reach in with my arms and stuff. Um, and I pretty much was there. Once you get all those bolts undone and the wires off of by the tail, the license plate, the tail light license, the tail light wires are really easy. You take the two screws off of the, for the tail lights that are just inside the tailgate there, and then they pop off, and in there, there's just two clips. You undo the clips, you run those back through the body, and then you can lift that bed off. Um, just have something to sit it on so you don't wreck the, you know, wreck the bottom of the bed, but that would make that job way easier than what I did. 
Um, and uh, anyways, from my opinion, this is way easier than dropping the bed. For me, it took about two hours only because I didn't take the bed off. I think taking the bed off would have made the job a lot easier. Um, good luck, guys. If you're like me, you're really annoyed that you had to do that anyways. Um, Ram really needs to fix that. Thanks. Bye.